Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I organize my daily to-do list using Asana. The first thing you should know is this model is only one of many different models you can use in Asana. I've been using Asana for many years, so I've really got a good feel for it and I've experimented with a number of different approaches and I found this one to be the best for me. The next thing you should know is what does my average day look like? Well, it varies a lot, but most of my focus when it comes to work is around two areas, either consulting, where I'm helping startups with their data and business operations needs, or I'm producing content. Uh, no matter what I'm working on in a given day, I'm like 90% of the time I'm going to be opening up Asana, looking through my tasks and actually building my to-do list. Uh, this is usually one of the first things I do in the morning. So I'm here inside a, a demo workspace within Asana to kind of show you guys how um, I organize things. And the first thing you should notice is the different projects I have in Asana. Uh, the first project is Justin. Um, this project is going to hold every single task that exists in this workspace for me. The next one I have is a project uh, for a certain client and I actually have a project per client. And even if it's a project which is quite short, I'll typically create a project and have my tasks for that project for that client listed here. Uh, and then I have uh, a project called admin. And you'll soon see that, you know, you might want to have different projects for other uh, areas that, you know, of your business that you're focusing on. So this Justin project actually acts as um, a mirror to every other project, uh, to every task in every other project. And I'll show you in a second how I do that. So when I create a project, when I create a task, um, I'm typically going to go ahead and create it within the relevant backlog section. So if you haven't seen my video yet on Asana, um, you should know that Asana has uh, tasks and it has sections, uh, a way for you to organize um, your tasks. And then you also have projects. So tasks exist in a project and within a project they can exist within a section. So let's just say, um, you know, a task comes up, a client sends me an email and he wants me to do something. I'll go ahead and I'll add it in the backlog section, like so. You know, I'll just go ahead and, you know, add a task, um, QA new dashboard as an example. And then what I'm going to do is over here on the, in the right hand panel, I'm going to assign the task to the relevant project. So in this case, it's client X. And that way, this task is now mirrored. Um, from you know it's credited in the justin project but it's mirrored in the client x project and you can see it over here appearing at the top the next thing i do with every task um, is a, assign a priority and that's really easy to do in a sign up by using tags and you have the shortcut tab t and i have low medium and high um, and i'll just go ahead and assign it and then typically what i like to do even though I'm not too obsessive about this, is just rank, um, either list the tasks by priority. And that way I can see it. So anyways, that's what I do when I create new tasks. Um, but if there's no new tasks and now I'm, I'm building my to-do list for the day, then I, I, I do like a top-down approach. So I'm going to go through these different sections and explain exactly what, what we have here. The first thing is these two tasks right at the top, and these act as reminders. Um, hence, you know, why they are capitalized. This is just, you know, to, since I'm logging into Sun every day, I want this to, you know, to be the best place to remind me about things. First one is read the manifesto. I'm not going to cover this in this video, but I basically, you know, every, ever so often create a document where I, I list the goals that I want to focus on. 
And I like to start my day by reading through that. And it just, you know, reminds me what I'm trying to achieve at the moment. So read the manifesto right there. The first thing I'm going to see when I open up a sauna. The next is a reminder to use the Pomodoro technique. And I'm going to cover that in a separate video. Um, it's really useful uh, productivity uh, hack that, that you can use. Um, so, you know, go ahead and read up on that, but uh, I'm going to record a video talking about how I use the Pomodoro technique. The next is in focus. I'll come back to that. Then you have today, leftovers, the basics, um, upcoming calls and events, uh, upcoming events and calls, and then I have the backlogs. And the backlogs will basically reflect the different projects. So I have a backlog per client that I'm currently working with. Uh, and then I have one for admin and, you know, maybe one for if I, you know, I've thought about creating one for content and whatever, however else you want to break up your work. So, you know, say it's the, the morning and now I'm going to build my to-do list. So the first thing I typically do is um, I'm going to, sorry, I forgot to mention, there's a section called the basics. And the basics are basically recurring tasks, which... I like to do uh, every day or every day I'm working and I just keep these here as kind of templates slash you know reminders and you know there's two ways to to kind of use these templated tasks the first way is you can just click and then go over here and do duplicate task you know you can change the title create new task and it's going to create it over here so I'm going to basically go ahead and create duplicates of these basic tasks. I prefer to just type them out. Um, you know, it, it's quicker for me. So you know, killed, check Slack, uh, check client inboxes, check client Slack accounts. And these are kind of just almost like maintenance style tasks uh, help you stay on top of things. So for me, you know, I'm working with multiple clients in parallel and, you know, all of them use, or most of them use Slack. Um, and then I also have the guild, you know, that uh, I'm, you know, monitoring. So I want to just make sure I do these things. So I'm going to add those under today. As in, in the today section is tasks I want to complete today. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add those. And then what I'm going to basically do is go down to the backlog sections and drag from the backlog into today. Okay. So in, in this case, you know, I'm going to, I want to contact my accountant, drag that up until today and send out the guild newsletter. And, you know, maybe I want to accomplish these two as well. So I'm just going to hold down shift and drag these up. And you can see I'll start basically building my to-do list for today. Um, and then let's just take one more, you know, take these two and drag these up here. Okay. So after I've done that, and you know, maybe there's certain things that didn't exist in the backlog that I thought about, so I'll go ahead and add these. And you know, in the in the the first thing I'm doing is I'm building my to-do list. Um, once I've done that, uh, what I'm going to start to do is, you know, if I'm getting into work mode, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, use my Pomodoro uh, plugin over here. I'm going to start a Pomodoro and I'm going to start dragging one task at a time into in focus. And the reason I do this is you can't work on more than one thing at a time. Some people try <laughs> and, you know, uh, I've also tried to multitask like that and it's just, it's not efficient. It's much better to just be super focused on one specific task. Um, and, you know, when I'm done with that, I'm going to cl click the, the completed little uh, icon over here. And then I'm going to drag the next one and drag the next one and drag the next one. Um, what I often like to do is, um, you know, I'm going to start with those, the basic tasks, you know, checking inboxes and so on, because often I will find, um, you know, there'll be certain emails and messages sent, you know, during the night and um, it will actually lead to additional tasks. So I'll usually start with, you know, checking my email, checking the Slack, um, 
accounts and then probably add two or three additional tasks. And then once I've done that and I've checked off, um, you know, the, the basic tasks, then uh, I'm going to start moving on to the, the other tasks. So, you know, just to recap what that looked like, you know, if, um, you know, I'm going to start by checking client inboxes, you know, sometimes I have email accounts set up for different accounts. So for certain clients, I'm going to go ahead and log into those. Um, you know, you can see uh, I have here two Gmails open. Uh, sometimes I have three, four, five. I'll go through, check all those. And then once I've checked, I'll just mark it complete. And then I move on to the next one. Um, you know, check the Slack account for the guild. Once I've done that, check it complete. And you can see, you know, the list will slowly get uh, depleted. And, you know, it's great to just mark these things off. You feel good about yourself. And, you know, at the beginning of the day, you might have 10, 15 little tasks. And at the end of the day, you know, hopefully you've gone through everything. If not, then at the end of the day, you know, say I've done all of this. You know, and um, say I've got these three left over, then what I'll do is instead of pushing them back into the, the backlog, sometimes I do do that. If um, it's very clear that over the next few days, I'm not going to be working something for whatever reason. And, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense to be up all the way up here and focus is what I'll do is I'll move it, move these into leftovers. And leftovers is basically, um, leftovers from the previous day and then when i'm starting the next day and building my to-do list i'm going to notice these and the goal is you know if you've decided that you're going to work on a certain task then there was there was a good reason for that um, and it means that it needs to get done so maybe certain things came up or you didn't manage to complete everything then you don't want that task to just disappear and fall between the cracks or go down here. Because if you can do that, then it means that the task list you're building every day is, is not really being prioritized. Um, so it means that everything moving into leftovers needs to be completed the next day. And that way, you know, you're kind of holding yourself, um, make, you know, holding yourself uh, accountable for the tasks that you're moving into uh, your to-do list. Um, other really cool uh, little trick that I learned that's kind of related to this is maybe there's like really small micro tasks that will pop up that you decide, okay, I better go ahead and do them. Like maybe an email comes in the middle of the day and, you know, it takes you half a minute to go do something. What I often do is I'll do it and then I'll come back to Asana, I'll create the task and then I'll immediately mark it as completed. You might think, why waste your time? And it's kind of a little psychological trick to, you know, you added to your to-do list something that you did and it just means that you, you're kind of telling your brain, you know, you're getting more and more done instead of just jumping around doing hundreds of little tasks um, and not actually recording it. So even though it takes another, you know, five seconds to do, uh, you just overall feel better throughout the day because you're you're adding tasks and completing them. Um, so that's it. Just wanted to emphasize this is one model. Uh, it's a model that works really well for me. Um, oh, I actually forgot to mention the reason you end up creating tasks here and mirroring them is it, it is kind of convenient to be able to jump into specific projects and then see everything under that specific project. Uh, you, I guess you could see it over here in the backlog, but the, you know, just there's a lot on the eye here. And if I was kind of focusing on, you know, thinking through what I want to do for client X, I can actually click here and see the list of tasks. And then, you know, in the past, I've also had a section here of upselling ideas or, you know, ideas of additional projects that can be pitched to the client and you can kind of have everything in one place. Um, but I like this idea of mirroring the tasks into one main project because then, you know, this becomes a very organized uh, place for, for the tasks and the stuff I'm going to do throughout the day. So that's it, guys. I hope you found this interesting. If you are uh, got any questions on Asana, you know, make sure you, you message me on Slack. 
And as always, thanks for watching.